vigilante journalism are as follows. Improv show. That is all. I'm Ben. Welcome to 108 News, the news you can use if you choose to use it. I'm Ben. And I'm Alex. Today's story hails from the dimly lit auditorium of GSS, where Max is covering the improv show. and I'm here with Haley to talk about the improv show last night. Haley, what is improv? Improv is actually like a completely improvised form of theater, so everything we do is made up on the spot. We usually take our basis from ideas from the audience, and then um, we basically just go from there. We talk for about 10 seconds, so like, say the, uh, the audience gives us a suggestion of like a rocking chair to tell a story about. So we talk for five seconds, and then we'll tell you a story about a rocking chair for four minutes. <laughs> well, it's a good thing today that I'm from <laughs> It's a good thing today that I brought my map of the Niagara region. <laughs> now, is there any competing in improv? Yep, we actually have a regional competition, which is held in Kitchener in this year, which is the week after March break. And um, we perform up against about 20 teams from the region. And then uh, the top team, we have uh, three places, uh, first, second, third place. And first place goes to our national competition, which is in Ottawa in mid-April this year. juniors were competing last night as well, am I right? Yeah, we have a junior team in formation. Uh, they're going to be our team next year since most of the students on the improv team are graduating. So <laughs> Competition. We do perform in Kitchener on Thursday, March 24th at 7:30 p.m. And uh, yeah, and then we're hoping we'll make it to finals from there. All right, great. Good luck, Haley. Wow, that changed my life. That's all the time we have today on 108 News. Until next time, I'm Benjamin, and I'm Alexander. Spring, Spring break. break!